Hello, this is Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to another episode of KMA's Jams. <laughs> Just another Minecraft series. I had to remember the title of it. This is episode 17. Yes, we are getting up there in numbers. And I am up top here, standing on a piece of glass with a little cheaty thing to get out here. But I am in the center of my world or my tree farm this is the level that I'm gonna build the roof at and I have placed the first block and it's gonna be glass so guess what we're gonna have to go get some glass or some sand cook it up and get this ball a rolling because we need to put a roof on this so I can finish this side of the tree farm and start working on that side so that is what we are doing today we are Putting a roof on the tree farm. I had to think about that for a second. So I'm out here collecting the sand because we need lots of sand for smelting over to lots of glass. And I'm at my famous old, well I guess I can't say it's famous, but my old sand pit. And as, ooh, as you've seen in my videos, I have used a lot of glass, which means I've needed a lot of sand. So what type of sand are we talking about amount wise? Well, let's see. This has all been taken out. That's all been taken out. And on this particular project, um, so far, I have about 40 stacks of sand ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and start smelting this stuff up. And get myself ready for the roof. Roof. So I've got the sand all um, cooking in here. I'm going to take some of... There's some extra sand that I have received. And here's some glass. And I'm going to take this glass and bring it up. Well, I should have cleared my inventory. But yeah, right there is a good amount to start with for the roof. Um, I have no idea how much glass it's going to take. But it's going to take a lot. Which is fine. It's an expendable source. And I just wanted to show you real quick. I changed this other room that I worked on in the other day. I added purple. I'm going to go take a nap real quick. Because we all like to watch me sleep in this game. But you just got a good bird's eye view of this room. Um, it's like the Cheshire Cat. <laughs> I wanted to start incorporating purple over here from a tree farm. And I needed some lighting down here because if you remember, I ended the last episode with a whole bunch of torches down here. I don't really like the torches, so I wanted to change out the torches and put in some pumpkins. And pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns are underneath the rugs. I don't really like doing the rug thing. Shush. I don't really like doing the rug thing. I'm going to close this just in case there is a creeper outside for the night. Um, and initially, I just had this like as a blue ring. And the purple in the walls here and I showed my wife and she's like um and I had th this carpet down here with white 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 purple 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 she's like why don't you do it purple and blue so the purple and blue um, checkered pattern uh, you can attribute to my wife I'm gonna keep it there kind of as a homage to her I wouldn't normally keep this because that's hard on my eyes <laughs> but uh, it's going to stay. It's for her. She deserves it. I'm just trying to figure out how um, big I should make this sun. And I think I'm just going to make it seven blocks. Three, four, five, six. From the centerpiece. So I'm pretty sure this is about how big it's going to be. I'm going to go down to the bottom just to see if it looks okay. Actually, I think that looks pretty good. If that was the sun, I'm thinking maybe a little bit bigger. I'm going to add that from 7 to 9 and uh, see what we can do. Hmm. I don't know. Nope, give me that glass. 
Yeah, I'm going to add two more to this. This is seven right now, and it's definitely going to have to be nine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to increase the two sides and start working on it some. Da, ba, da, da. Hey! Sorry, didn't know you were there. I'm just um, putting some glass on the top of my tree farm here. Um, I'm actually doing the same thing I did with the blocks down below. Um, I guess I should have showed you before I was down to just blue and purple blocks. But, um... I just put the colors I want on my bar and scroll and place blocks as I go. But I'm running out of blocks right now. Um, pretty bad, as you can see. Ooh, lots of blocks being run out. That's part of the reason why uh, I think you guys snuck up on me, is because I'm about to have to go and. Go get some more blue, at least blue blocks. I'm not going to be really using too much more purple, but it's almost done. I got to figure out a way. I'll stop putting blocks down. Uh, I got to figure out a way. I'm a few blocks higher than that. The actual tree farm height was supposed to be at the height I'm standing at, but with these pillars and the way I had them set up. Um, there were 13 or 14 blocks high, and the columns were just not, you know, divisible by the height of this, uh, area. So there is a four block gap, whee, um, from the height of the pillars to the top of the, let me get some meat, yes, to the top of the tree farm. So I'm going to do some sort of uh, curvature to it, but I just want to get the top down, then I'll figure out the curvature. So let's take a look at what I've done. It is the sun, but it didn't, doesn't come out looking like the sun. It looks kind of... <laughs> yeah, um, I was expecting the yellow to be brighter, but I forget, you know, it's glass. I probably shouldn't have made it out of glass if I really wanted it to look... Good. But I don't know. This might grow on me. It's not as pronounced as I thought it was going to be. Um, and with the divided areas, you can't really see the whole thing when you're out here. So when I bring the corners down to that walkway, being able to see through the areas um, will be better. But you kind of see what I did there. It started out with the yellow sun and then slowly morph into different colors. I guess I should have added more pinks and stuff. But, you know, it's a work in progress, so I may fix it. That's what it's um, kind of looking like now. So what I'm going to do is uh, go get some more glass. So yes, I have made a whole bunch of more glass, and it's really not the glass that I need so much um oops so i did overload myself hey there's a train coming i did overload myself with the glass a little bit because um you know i i do enjoy working with it oh i guess i'm completely out over here that's not bad but i got plenty of sand still here's my problem <laughs> this is all the lapis i have left I remember when I uh, was starting this project, I had stacks of lapis probably halfway down the second thing. I only had 25 left. I do have lapis stashed there. Um, so guess what? I'm gonna use up the rest of this lapis. 25, so what's that? Yeah, it's three stacks. And a little bit more. Let's make the three stacks of glass. 
of blue glass. Oh, should I make a little bit of purple? Why not? Oops. We're gonna make a little bit more purple. Because I do want purple as part of the colors. Not enough purple. I think it might get me through. So you need to let me know what you think of this. Am I ruining this project by putting this glass up there? Let's go take a look. If you go to sleep every night in Minecraft, it basically doesn't rain. But if you stay up at night and don't go to sleep, you will start a pattern of rain and snow on the map that you're working on. So I try and get to sleep every night. I don't really work at night uh, out here on my stuff. I try and get to sleep at night to prevent the rain from happening. And one of the uh, nights I was working, I had worked probably halfway through the night and it started snowing and raining. And so I started getting these snow patches everywhere. So this is what I was talking about, the path that will eventually be covered up. This will all eventually be snow. So the work on this path will basically be non-existent in the future because it will be covered in snow, which is really not that big a deal for me because it's the randomness that I like in Minecraft that um, keeps things a little interesting. And look at this. XO, yeah, look at that. I'm learning, yes, yes, yes. I got the self adapter. Instead of doing my little dirt pillars, I was smart enough and listened to you and made some ladders. That's just for you, XO. So basically, what I had done is I started with the center red block, then kind of rounded it out with orange and added the, the yellow. The yellow might be a little too big. I may bring the yellow back. A couple of blocks I don't know but I just wanted to get this done um, and give it a good look over then fix it like I do with everything else that I make um, then I added the orange halo glow around it then slowly started merging the other colors of the sunset to like darkness towards the outside that was the basic plan of this um, glass ceiling oh. <laughs> and right now my the project the edges is basically all blue with a little purple mixed in so like I do when I build I put across the hotbar all the different colors I place a block scroll over one place a block scroll over one it's kind of my random chance operations which I have done in music also set up some parameters to decipher which notes to use next, which pitches, which type of melody or rhythm, um, and some of the experimental music I have made. And I would really, really, really love to get back into making music, but um, I tried to do some uh, one music thing, which I do still have saved on YouTube. I kind of set it up, I recorded it like I was streaming. It really didn't go over too well, um, but I would love to uh, get back to making some music. Uh, do I need to bring this out one more? Yes, I do. So I'm just gonna. Oh, that's a little high. A little high. Mm, that's what Pyro said. A little high. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish this. Um, ceiling up and maybe show you what it looks like well you kind of got the idea of what it looks like I think I'm just gonna finish the roof and basically uh, what I need to do is figure out a way to get this the discrepancy of the height up here I think it's only four blocks it's not a big deal um, so it will probably be at an angle kind of like a dome oh I don't want to jump off the edge so I got this corner to finish, corner, and this corner over here to finish. And then um, and this will kind of be done. One other thing I was thinking of was taking whenever I decide to be the edge of the actual sun, taking one block in and raising it up higher and higher so the 
the sun, like the center of the sun here would be, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks higher than the outside. So it would be kind of like a dome for where the sun is. I don't know if that's going to look good. It's going to be a real pain in the butt to do, but it's something to think about in the future. Two things. Decrease the size of the sun and make it the sun itself a dome over this. I was also thinking of making a chandelier here, but I didn't want to do that as to block the visuals of the sun. But I was kind of thinking this sun was going to stick out a little bit more, especially with yellow. But I forget, with the light coming in from the sky and stuff, um, this yellow doesn't really stand out as much as I thought it would. But um, it's still, I think, going to look okay. Also, the edges look a little weird between the different colors. I don't mind at all how the edges of the same colored glass looks, but when you get a different colored glass, you can see all corners of it, which I, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the settings in my Optifine. I know there's a glass smoothing thing in Optifine, and I am using Optifine with this series. Here, see? And, um, so maybe that's it. I don't really remember. But I'm going to do some more work and show you what it looks like and, uh, when it's done. So I'm finishing up the glass at the top of my tree farm, and it is done. Let me just give you a quick show. Um, I did add glowstone up here because, remember down bef down below, the site wasn't all that great. It, um, it didn't pop like I thought it would. The yellow was kind of, I don't know, merged out, bleached out, so it didn't really look that good. So I added glowstone, and let's go check to see if I have that same problem. Woo! Where's my shovel? I also added a corner to the top there. Um, so it wraps down to the level of the pillars a little bit. So let's go check it out now that it's nighttime. We can probably see how well this is going to show up. But I have a feeling it's not going to be that great. Creepers are my enemy. Whoa, lag, big time. Let's just get rid of this guy so I don't have to worry about him. So there's my son. Not the best thing in the world. Not the worst thing in the world. Um, let's see. Yeah, well, the lights do help, help it a bit. Um... But I think I'm going to leave it there until I come up with a better idea. I mean, I might make the sun a little bit not as big uh, circular, but um, we'll see. I kind of like it. I think I need it needs to grow on me a little bit. But I hope you guys like it. <laughs> um, but that's going to be the ceiling, I guess. So that's going to do it for this episode of KMA's Corner. KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series. This is episode 17, where we worked on the roof of my tree farm. It looks okay. I'm not completely happy with it. But like most things, um, after time, I tend to like it a lot more. So I appreciate you joining me on this journey of making roofs, ceilings out of glass that kind of look like suns, but look more like the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> Sorrow, man. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, have a great day. It's Keith for KMA's Corner. And hit the like and subscribe button. Tell your friends about me. Or not. And I don't mean your Enderman friends. Wherever you ended up being. Going. Wherever. But I'll see you on the next episode of KMA's Jams. Have a good day. Goodbye. <laughs>